short course lang siya. Saglit, ah, may mute lang ako. Hindi ng ratchet. Ah, uh, hindi ka marad masyadong, well, ang, ang, anong tawag ko hindi? Hmm? Okay, Agarit? 400? Uh, Tapos ngayon natin kailangan pag-usapan niya hanggang nagpa-vlog ako. <laughs> So I'm currently reading Philippines graphic magazine. I got this from our neighbor and I was reading this one. Um, this is actually their May 2017 issue. So for the Philippines, it's mostly about labor and this is their Labor Day story. The writer, I believe it's the editor-in-chief. His name is Joel Pablo Salud. He is the editor in chief, and this is the editor's corner. Ayan dito sa story na to. Let me just tell you yung buod ng historia. This is about his childhood. He was born rich, rich as in rich. Now his father was exiled, which resulted to this part. This part talks about his hardship. Naging kargador siya, but. The thing about it is, he never stopped dreaming. He even mentioned na sa gabi, so kargador siya sa morning, sa gabi, he would still take time to sit down, read, and write. So, he was uh, a writer talaga. Now, on this part, he was actually told by the doctor na hindi na siya pwedeng magkargador. So, siguro, nanghina yung katawan niya. He's not built for the job, so to speak. But the following day, he was called for an interview. He was referred by a friend as an editorial assistant. Back then pala, pag sinabing editorial assistant, kahit it's just a title. Basically, ang work mo is ikaw yung messenger, janitor, and overall office help. So, siya yung taga-timplan ng kape and all that. However, ito, part na to, ito na yung success story niya. One day, merong isang reporter na hindi nakarating. So, he, he actually offered help. Doon na nagsimula yung pagsusulat niya. I really love the fact na this story here, his story, was 33 years ago. Nakaka-inspire talaga. Hindi ako mahilig magbasa ng magazine. Mahilig ako magbasa, usually books, fictions, social media, may Kindle ako, PDFs, but that's pretty much it. Ito kasi, binigyan lang ng neighbor namin, and nakita ko lang dito sa ibabaw ng station, so sabi ko, since I have some time, bakit hindi ko basahin, di ba? And na-inspire ako. And then, I remember, we just shot a uh, video, I think, the other night, and it's all about how you can improve in English. And I really think yung story ni Mr. Salud would be a very great intro for this video. It's inspiring. It's all about doing what you love, even if, you know, you lack resources. And it's all about working towards your goal while doing as much as you can with the current resources that you have. So anyway, let me just show you the video and I hope that this would actually help more aspiring freelancers na medyo concerned kapag ka hindi sila ganun tutuling sa English or kung sa pakiramdam mo, you lack skills. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let us know what you think by comment section below. Hi! Good morning! Today is August 2nd and it is 4.45 in the morning. I'm just about to prepare the kids for school kasi kailangan ko na mag-plan siya. But before I do so, I wanna address one question na nakita ko na ipinost dun sa isang group sa Facebook sa Work at Home Nanay. By the way, if this is the first time that you're on my channel, my name is Mary and I am a work from home mom. So, ito yung question ni Flor Deseline Velasquez. She said, good morning po, gusto ko po magkaroon ng part-time income. Kaso hindi po ako masyadong marunong mag-English. Nasa bahay lang po ako, inaasikasong husband at anak ko. Ano po ang maipapayo at maibigay 
mapagkakitaan as mother kagaya ko high school graduate. Salamat. God bless us all. First of all, Flor, I just want to say na I admire all housewives. I grew up with my parents na laging nagtatravel, ganyan, so hindi ko sila masyadong nakakasama. That's why, ang ultimate dream ko talaga, long before, ay maging isang housewife. And ngayon na naranasan ko na siya, just ko kung hindi ako tinutulungan ng mister ko, guys, hmm, deads na talaga ako sa house chores. <laughs> Napakahirap maging nanay. Nakakatuwa kasi nag-iisip ka pa rin ng based on how you can actually earn even if yung primary role mo ay ang magalaga ng iyong pamilya. Okay, yung first concern mo is hindi ka marunong mag-English. Well, marami namang pwedeng work na hindi kailangan na ganun kakagaling sa conversational English. Although, kailangan siyempre nakakaintindi ka. Kasi ang instruction ng mga clients ay pinapadala Usually via email or meron silang videos ng tutorials kung paano gagawin yung task. Or tatawagan ka nila sa Skype at doon nila ibibigay yung instruction kung paano mo gagawin yung task. So, kailangan nakakaintindi ka pa din. On this video, I wanna give you a couple of tips kung paano mo may improve yung English mo. Number one, read. Magbasa ka ng mga English books. Tapos hindi mo lang siyang babasahin. Uh, actually, tinanong ko si Mr. Kwan yung tips na pwedeng ibigay sa taong hindi ganun kagaling sa English. And paano may improve yun? And yun yung sabi niya, magbasa ng books. At hindi mo lang siya basta babasahin. Pipilitin mo siyang intindihin. Ngayon, kung hindi mo na iintindihan yung isang salita masyadong malalim, i-google mo siya. Tapos, intindihin mo yung meaning niya. Hanggang sa maintindihan mo na yung konsepto nung binabasa mong libro. Mag-start ka sa basic. I guess may pocket books pa rin na English. Or maghanap ka sa online ng pwede mong basahin na libro. Something that could help you out. Ang second na pwede mong gawin would be to watch English movies. I remember yung tatay ko, hindi rin siya ganun kagaling sa English. Well, both my parents are not that good pagdating sa English. Pero yung tatay ko, mahilig siyang manood ng movies. Tapos ang, ang sabi niya sa akin, sabi ko paano yung naiintindihan yung movies na yon. So ang ginagawa pala niya is tinitingnan lang niya yung picture or kung paano na natakbo yung storya via picture. So, ganun yung diskarte niya para maintindihan niya yung storya. However, parang sa paniniwala ko, habang nanonood ka ng nanonood ng English, nagbabasa ka, nagaling naman eh, natututo. Tapos, try mo rin siya pag nakikipag-usap ka sa ibang tao, huwag kang mahiyam magsalita in English para ma-improve mo. Kasi ako, let me tell you a story about when I started working sa call center. Nung yun nag-apply ako, yun yung first application ko. At ang alam ko lang talagang salita, feeling ko ha, nung time na yun ay yes or no. Nasani na lang akong makipag-usap ng English kasi nung mag-apply ako nun, natanggap ako at hindi ko alam kung bakit. Ang ini ko pa sa ma'am ay ma'am. Hindi ko alam, natanggap ako. So nag-calls ako lagi everyday, 8 hours, nakikipag-usap ako sa telepono, English yung conversation. Tapos, imagine promoted na ako, hindi pa rin ako ganun kagaling mag-English. So, yung mga agents ko, pinagtatawa na nila ako kasi mali yung grammar ko. Minsan, naalala ko, ikokorek ako nung ex ko kasi sumisigaw ako sa floor mali, mali yung English ko. Parang ganun. Nakakahiya, but at the same time, parang naging challenge para sa akin yun na ay kailangan kong matuto. So, noon na ako nagsimulang manood ng manood ng English movies. Tapos, pag nakikipag-usap din ako kahit sa mga kaibigan ko, Minsan, nag english ako para lang yung utak ko mag-process siya ng English kahit sa karaniwang conversation lang. Tapos, awa naman na just feeling ko ngayon much better na yung English ko than, what, 9, 10 years back. Feeling ko lang ah. Pero marami pa rin ako kailangan matutunan. At ngayon, dire-diretso pa rin yung nagbabasa ako ng kung ano-ano online. Pag nakikipag-usap ako, kasi yung bunso namin, galing siya mag-English. So, minsan, pag, pag nakikipag-usap ako sa kanya, yung English ko rin siya. And then, number three, kung kailangan talaga maraming online courses na libre na pwede kang matuto na magsalita in English or written English siguro ganyan. Ito 
magte-take eh. Pero I would probably try. Kasi I have a friend na tinutulungan ko siya step by step kung paano mag-apply online. And ito yung isa sa mga fear niya na hindi siya ganun kagaling pagdating sa English. So, syempre nga naman kung magaling ka sa conversational English, may edge ka, ba? Diba? You also mentioned sa kagaya mong high school graduate. So, I guess isa rin yun sa challenges mo. Kapag online work, wala na yan sa kung anong natapos mo. Hindi rin ako nakatapos ng college at tatlong course ang kinuha ko. I don't think kung ano man yung natapos mo, I don't think it would matter. My brother graduated high school. I think he graduated high school. <laughs> I'm not so sure. Pero, nakapag-work na rin siya online before. So, I don't really think issue yon Or I don't really think magiging issue siya. So, for your next concern naman, ano yung mga work na pwede mong gawin? I would say ganito. Hindi ka man ganun kagaling makipag-usap in English. But, na-practice mo na yun know, eventually, nasanay ka na na makipag-usap sa clients. Kasi ang clients usually galing USA or English being the universal language. At least, conversational English maiintindihan mo. Marami kang pwedeng work. I would suggest, of course, one, pwede kang maging data encoder. May mga work kasi na kukuha ka lang ng information sa isang website, ililipat mo sa Excel, or pwede ka rin mag-work as yung sa design, Photoshop, Oo, yun nga yung sabi ko. Basta yung nakakausap lang na si client ng ano, no? Naiintindihan niya. You wanna join me? <laughs> Sayang yung sinasabi mo niya. Ito pa yung isang tip na may ibigay ko sa'yo, no? Mag-aral ka ng bagong skill. Pagkatapos ng house chores, pag nakapasok ng mga bagets, or pagtulog na ang baby, at si Mr. ay nasa work, or yung meron kang spare time, mag-aral ka ng bagong skill. Ako kagaya ko, yung best friend ko, mag-i-enroll siya sa web development. Yung learning center na ito, bukod sa mura lang siya, short course lang siya, tapos meron silang Photoshop. So, tinanong ko si Mr. Sabi ko, ano ba tinuturo dito? Uh, maganda bang kumuha ng course na gano'n? Or might as well, kumasas ka nga naman nung samahan na school. At least, okay. Uh, sabi ni Mr. Usually naman daw yung mga learning center, nagbibigyan na yun ng basic. And then the rest, pwede ko nakaralin online. So, sabi ko, parang feel ko talagang kulit tong course na to. Yun, mag-aral ka ng bagong skill na sa tingin mo ay mag excel ka at yung gusto mo talagang gawin. Ako gusto ko matuto ng Photoshop. Kung meron na ako Adobe dito sa computer ko, kailangan ko na lang talaga matutunan is yung basic. And what better way to learn something new but than with your best friend? Kailangan ko maganda yung concept na create your freelancer business. Gusto mong i-pursue talaga ang freelancer ang business. So, kailangan mo mag-invest. Invest all in your self. Sana makatulong yung mga tips ko sa'yo. If you guys have uh, other questions na sa tingin nyo ay yung matagal na, nag matagal na kayo nagbabother tayo, nautan pa rin ako mag English. Minsan, nagahalo yung English at Filipino sa utak ko. So, if you guys have questions about working from home or kung ano yung mga challenges nyo na sa tingin nyo, may maibigay ako sa inyong payo, please feel free to comment below. You can also follow our journey sa social media media. <laughs> You can also follow our journeys sa aming social media accounts. I will put all of the links at the description box below. And I'll see you guys on our next video. Salamat!